Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the A3 Review. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the new things that came into the store. Uh, and then we're gonna take a spotlight on a teaser for MMC's Serif Prominion figure. And after that, we are going to be reviewing the Make Toys MT-04 Nemesis from the Battle Tanker series. My name's Alex. I'm Boris. And you're watching the, the A3, A3 Review. Review. We got a couple of new things that came into the store. What do we got, Boris? Uh, well, first off, we've got the Make Toys uh, Battle Tanker. Oh yeah. Uh, this was an exclusive off of their site. They are in store now. Uh, we'll kind of do a slight review on it uh, after. And it looks like we got uh, some uh, new 1-6 scale figures in stock. What is that you have there? Uh, yeah, I have uh, the Damn Toys uh, Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz, yeah, yeah, Spetsnaz, Spetsnaz FSB Vimple. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like a Russian special forces or something. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, and uh, it's Damn Toys. You're familiar with Damn Toys? Right? Absolutely, Damn Toys. If you're not familiar with them, they have produced a lot of great once scale modern military figures as well as a gangster line. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are very attached to gangster line. I am uh, super high quality stuff, uh, and. You know, much like uh, Soldier Story, yeah. uh, uh, a lot of people overlook Damn Toys because Soldier Story is kind of like the classic, you know, yeah. sure bet. They have a lot of great accessories. Uh, so just like Soldier Story, uh, Damn Toys is often overlooked. They have really good quality accessories, a lot of it. Uh, and their military figures are actually <coughs> really, really great, really poseable. Yeah. I love it, um, I, just as much as I like their gangster line, for sure. Yeah, I, I think their their quality level is on par with Soldier Story. Yeah, if not for some things, it's better. Uh, Soldier yeah. Story, over time, I felt like some of their pieces have uh, lowered in quality, actually. Mm. Um, not too much, though, I mean, I still really like them. Um, but definitely we carry more than just this in store. We have other damn toys military, so uh, be sure to come on into the store and check them out. Yeah, be sure to check out the rest of those damn toys. And speaking of the damned, <laughs> um, we have here a new game that just came into the store. Uh, Evil Baby Orphanage. That's right, Evil Baby Orphanage. And it's a card game and it sounds exactly as it suggests, it's an evil baby orphanage. And what you have here is that um, you gotta supervise these kids, okay? Or these babies, rather, and they're all evil. I mean, you got bullies, you got biters, you got grabbers. You gotta keep them in check. So what you gotta do is you gotta like play out like these, these toy cards or like these, these other cards which will uh, allow you to supervise them because they're always running around. They could be attacking other babies or going into other uh, nurseries or, or like orphanages. But anyways, you gotta keep them in control because what you wanna do is you want to accumulate points. Each one of the babies have a point value on them and you wanna accumulate, uh, was it eight? It was eight, right? Uh, yeah, you can, I mean, house rules, you could do eight, 10, 12. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the more points you have, the longer the game, of course. That's right. But the challenge is that these kids are always running around ca causing havoc. Anyways, it's a lot of fun. It plays out uh, anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes, mainly because you can add a, a lot of players to it, or you can increase the point value system. And uh, the minimum amount of players that you want to play with is three, and it can go uh, as high as you want it to go. Another fun factor thing about this is some of the babies. They're basically like all of uh, the some villains that we know or classic, you know, evil guys. In real life. In real life. <laughs> uh, like uh, Julius Caesar as a baby. Kim Jong-il. Yeah, Kim Jong-il. Fidel we, Castro. We won't talk about Kim Jong-il yeah. too much. Uh, you know, don't want to get hacked or anything. Yeah, like yeah that's right. Um, but. Uh, it's just super fun. Yeah. I mean, it pokes fun at all of the, the villainous characters and yeah. their babies, and you are essentially trying to supervise these super evil babies. That's right. And uh, yeah, uh, you can check it out in store, mm -hmm. and uh, you can check out this at ages3andup.com, and the 1 6 figure will, of course, be at www.urbansamuraihobbies.com. Are these prototypes? For us? Uh, well, yeah, these are basically uh, uh, thanks to our friends at uh, Mastermind Creations, by the way. They have allowed us to tease the new Serif 
Promenia. This thing is going to be released uh, very soon, as far as I know. And uh, what we have here is a resin prototype, as well as uh, you know some level of test shot that's going on here. Uh, now, this is just a teaser, so I'm not going to get into any of the transformations yet because this is not done. But uh, you know, I did want to show off a lot of the design and the realization of this uh, product because uh, there's definitely been a lot of uh, prototype shots out there in resin. There's been of course the 3D models that have been released um, but nothing to this level yet. So this is very cool. I mean I'm really really excited for this figure uh, in terms of design aesthetic uh, and everything. It is something else. It really really is impressive. You know of course everyone knows that this trailer here is going to attach onto uh, the uh, smaller bot here to make a much larger bot. Yeah. And of course it's got wings. Ooh! Everybody loves a robot with wings. It makes them <laughs> so much cooler. Yeah, pretty much you slap any wings on a robot <laughs> and it looks amazing. You know, you look at Gundams, uh, you look at Jetwing Prime, like, you know, I, I love all the winged um, uh, Transformers. What do you think on your first impression? Like, how do you like this guy? Kind of well, I think this is a great looking robot. First of all, when I first saw this in your store, I was already quite impressed. Okay, this right. is the resin version, right? Mm -hmm. this, so now that you're showing us this, I love the the angles, the lines, the the the, the sharp edges, the uh, the whole aesthetic of this thing just just looks really really nice. Now, this um, I. I don't know what to really think of this. I guess I'll uh, have to see it, what it looks like in the its original, I mean, in, in its final colors. I can't really tell what it could look like in the final product, but uh, so far, I mean, it looks decent. <laughs> I'm yeah. more interested in the robot uh, at the time being. <laughs> well, the robot definitely looks good. Yes. And the test shot is starting to highlight some other areas that were otherwise not as noticed in the gray uh, yeah. resin prototype. And I believe that like, the final product will, of course, be uh, more white. Mm -hmm. White does hide a lot of certain details, so I'm hoping to see a lot more paint apps and whatnot. So, you know, for all of you guys that are complaining right now, what is up with this? Like, <laughs> What is all know, the pink, right? Yeah, uh, you know, this is, again, not a final product. This yeah. is just a teaser yeah. so that people can kind of see where it's going yeah. and how close uh, around the corner that this uh, product is going to be. So It's, it's bit, getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. A bit more QA to go. Uh, you know, I played around with some of the joints. They're, they're feeling pretty solid. Not uh, too much uh, issues. You know, even like how the... Uh, shoulders work and everything. There's some great engineering that's going on in there. Uh, but again, I'm not gonna go too much into it. Great figure, really watch out for this one. Definitely one of my most anticipated uh, pieces that will be coming up. Okay, so what we're gonna take a look at today is the... Make Toys MT-04 Nemesis from the Battle Tanker series. That's and right. just from the first glance, first impression, a very good looking vehicle mode with the Battle Tanker, or rather with just the, the I guess the oil tanker in the back. Mm -hmm. Looks very good. Yeah, it's definitely in the same sort of styling as the rest of the Battle Tanker series. So those of you who are familiar with it, you know, a lot of the characters like Hypernova, Battle Sentinel, mm -hmm. all that kind of are derived from the same uh, mold uh, with some differences and of course one of the biggest is the paint job. Now previously the Battle Tanker series started out as an add-on kit. Yes. So you would buy the G2 Laser Prime from the United or the uh, Revealed Shield series. Yes. And you would slap on all this cool stuff on him and make him look uber awesome <laughs> yeah exactly pretty much he came with this all these awesome guns and i believe it was uh, their first product uh, yeah. before the yellow uh, giant that's kind of right thing. just from first glance it does look very much like the original battle tanker series yes. and if you haven't invested in any more battle tankers since the first version the biggest improvement of course is the actual uh, cab it is 
no longer just an add-on piece, it's an actual remolded, reimagined uh, truck mode, and it transforms without you having to put any parts on it. Mm -hmm. So it's very cool. And then the oil tanker itself still turns into kind of like a base station, uh, as well as, uh, you know, arm cannons, and it just turns them into you know, battle mode. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, why don't we do that? We'll we'll break it out, yeah. show the transformation into the, you know, show him as a robot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. So here is Nemesis and he is in his robot mode. Now he doesn't have all his battle tanker parts on him right now, but we'll take a look at that later. But by itself, you know, without those parts, he still looks pretty good. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, this is, you know, just the cab and it's the smallest bot mode of yeah. the whole thing. It looks really good. Like first, you know, right off the bat, at least with this mold, you know, it, I can notice that uh, I really like the uh, actual head sculpt. Yeah. So very menacing. The head sculpt really stands out because mm -hmm. I was expecting your standard battle mask, like, a, like you know, the face mask, mm -hmm. but Looking at this, it's like a like a skull almost. Yeah, it, it, they did a great job with it. I love the detail on it. This is great. This is this underhanded blade, you know, as opposed to your standard sword, your double-handed sword. You know, we're so used to seeing that. I mm. love this 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 new take on their hand-to-hand -hand weapon. All in all, like the color, the detailing, it's what you would expect from this uh, battle tanker series. Uh, very high quality. Um, once again, very poseable. That's pretty much the. The smallest bot mode. Uh, let's uh, get its cape on and like yeah. Put on, st start putting on some of the add-ons. Sure, let's do it. So here's the nemesis with the cape on, as well as the extra parts from the uh, the tanker itself to give it that bulkier look, which makes it look great. Don't you agree? Yeah. Uh, earlier, I I did say that the cab itself had a lot of re-engineering and a lot of stuff was already on it. Um, but you still do have to put on the bigger pieces, like the big fists, much like the first version. Yeah. But it really gives it its bulk, like the leg pieces that go on, uh, and then the addition of the cape. I mean, yeah. this is one badass looking robot. He's definitely got that intimidation factor. Yeah, intimidation. Um, He's very intimidating. Yeah, and I mean, I love the little cues with the uh, cape as well. I'm a big Spawn fan. Yes, and it this looks... Is very Spawn-like. It's Spawn-inspired. Exactly, very reminiscent of that kind of feel to it. It's a much darker uh, feel for this battle tanker, and I think that this edition of the cape is uh, amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's done really well when you take it out, the instructions tell you to, you know, really crumple this. I didn't have a chance to really get into it. It comes as this, like, really flat, like, very clean looking sheet. sheet. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Like mess Scrunch with it. it up. It gives it more character, more texture. Yeah, more definition. Uh, this doesn't even have enough yet, but yeah. you know, as you get into it, like folding it's gonna give it some life. Yeah. Um, and I think that was the, the funnest thing about Spawn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like you know, how his cape his was cape. kind of alive, yeah. right? And so it gives that kind of feel to this as well. Yeah. Uh, I've also seen wire meshing being done with uh, yeah. before too. I love that method. Yeah. But this is actually really cool. Like I didn't think it would work out very nice, but because of how it's kind of rigid but malleable at the same yeah. time, it, it really does work. Yeah. Um, and then you know, cool little spot to also hang the actual sword. Yeah. Off there of. you go off the back. And that looks good because when he's going into battle, he just pulls it out like He-Man. Yeah, very so. cool. Um, and it had a swivel on it, I, I forgot to show that. So, yeah. so you could actually position the sword how you want it. Give it a little bit of style. Yeah, man, this thing is so poseable. It's so much fun. Very, very cool in this mode. This is so far, you know, one of my favorite uh, battle tanker yeah. uh, molds for sure. Uh, let's take a look at him with all the cannons. Here is the, uh, what would they call this? The assault mode or the battle tanker mode? Yeah, sure, the battle mode. Uh, you know. It just... really reminds me of the, the very first one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's based on the same yeah. uh, mold and everything, um, but, you know, there's some refinements to it. Yeah. It's actually got a lot better weight balance this mm -hmm. time around. Uh, when you flip this up, though, Yeah. It topples over. It topples over a little bit, but it is still a little bit better. I think the legs. Yeah. Well, I really better. like him because of first of all, I love all the guns. I love all the weapons and all that bulk mm -hmm. that that adds to him. But the one thing that I really, really 
I'm not a big fan of is this. This just... Yeah. Yeah, man. It, I know why it needs to be there. That's just visor for the targeting system, right? But I don't know. It just seems out of place for me. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe not as out of place as as just felt like maybe an afterthought. Like, yeah. you know, what what would we do with this? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Piece we need to put it somewhere, you know, right? You know, and you could hide it, make it more back heavy. I just don't see how it would work very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. it doesn't translate very well yeah. when you adjust it a little bit. It kind of hides the face if you don't have it up a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Then when you have it up a little bit more, it's kind you of like... You can't see through the targeting system. It's like, yeah, your targeting system ain't working, man. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I, I would agree with you. This little bit of kibble could have had a little bit more refinement done yeah. to that. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's just still, you know, very fun. Uh, you know, yeah. just like it was on the first one. Yeah. And, you know, the color scheme, uh, it's it's done very, very well. Yeah. Let's give this guy a rating. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So for aesthetic, I am giving it a 9. This guy looks great in all of its modes. The only reason why he's not a 10 out of 10 for aesthetic is um, this feels like it, yeah, it, it really doesn't work for me. I gave it a 9 as well. Uh, there are a few other things that I, you know, did notice uh, in terms of aesthetics. Um, uh, not only with this kibble, but some of the proportions were a little bit off for me. Uh, although it's supposed to be a bulky robot, uh, but still overall, I can't really fault it too much. It just looks great in all modes. For playability, I'm giving it an eight and a half. There is just a lot of stuff you can do with it. I mean, there's the tanker mode, there is the um, the battle mode, there's the cape mode, and there's the you know the the robot by himself. Or you could even give it a fifth mode and give it that the cape mode without the cape. I think it looks great that way, actually. So just transforming it back and forth is what gives it that playability. I gave it a nine. I love, uh, you know, robots that not only have a few different gimmicks that you can add to it, uh, but when you add in stuff like that cape, it's just super fun. Makes it, you know, all around a much better. Uh, overall robot. For innovation, I'm giving it an eight and a half, and I think that they put a lot of work and thought into this. I mean, even though we have seen the battle tanker before, I actually really like the fact, or rather appreciate the fact that they made their own version of uh, the, the, you know, the, the, this unit, this, this single unit on its own. And, you know, he, he looks very different. You add on the cape and you give it that, that skull looking face. And I feel that it's almost like a brand new figure in itself. So it's very, very innovative. And they put quite a bit of work into it. I give it an eight for innovation as well. Uh, I mean, I've seen all the other iterations and, you know, this evolution has happened uh, uh, previously. Um, so, you know, the only reason why I'm not giving it a, a full 10 is because they have done this over and over again in different colors. Uh, but since I haven't had a chance to actually review the other ones, um, I'm going to give it an 8 uh, as our first time reviewing this new version of the cat. And my overall score is 8.66. And so is mine, 8.66. I think that you will want to pick this guy up just because he looks awesome. Yeah, I definitely think so too. So uh, it's in limited quantities. Uh, if you want it, you should stop by the store or order online. It's a must have for any fan of Make Toys. And that's our episode for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned next time when we take a look at MP23, which is Takara's exhaust figure. A lot of controversy on that one. That's right. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, Ages 3 and Up, and also follow us on Twitter at Ages 3 and Up. We'll see you next time. See you next time.